I'm Matt Willis, Public Health Officer from Marin County with an update for September 15th. This week, the FDA and CDC gave the green light for the fall COVID-19 vaccine. This is one of the most important steps in a long time in our response to COVID-19. And I'm gonna give some answers to five important questions we received from our community. First is what is the fall COVID vaccine and how is it different? The vaccines that were approved this week are the same mRNA type of vaccines we're familiar with, made by Pfizer and Moderna. One shot given in the arm. Unlike prior bivalent vaccine, this one is monovalent meaning it's targeted against one main strain, and that's the XBB strain that's active right now, so it's a good match. The Novavax vaccine, which isn't an mRNA vaccine, is also in the pipeline, but wasn't ready to be reviewed by the CDC this week, so we may have another option soon. The next question is who is eligible and who should be prioritized? Everyone aged six months and older is eligible, so virtually all of us. For who should be prioritized, the answer is not a surprise because it's one of the things that hasn't really changed since the beginning of the pandemic. Older residents and those with weakened immune systems are at highest risk. Here's some recent Marin data that helps make this point. Since the start of 2023, 198 Marin County residents has been hospitalized for COVID-19, meaning that COVID-19 symptoms were severe enough to require hospital level care. 90% of those patients were age 60 or older. So advanced age remains the main risk factor for hospitalization locally. In terms of mortality, we've had eight COVID-19 deaths in Marin in the past 100 days, with an age range of 71 to 95 years and an average age of 86 years. This means the vaccine is a high priority for our older residents. In fact, probably the single most important step we could take to reduce COVID-19 hospitalizations and deaths in Marin is if every resident above age 60 got this fall vaccine. The second most important step is for those residents to get Paxlovid if they're infected. The next question we're getting is should younger, otherwise healthy people get the fall vaccine? This question was deeply considered at the CDC meeting earlier this week where recommendations were discussed and finalized. They came to the conclusion that the benefit far outweighs the risk for people for all age groups. And here's why I agree. First, there's clear evidence that vaccinated people have less risk of developing long COVID. This makes sense because vaccines reduce the amount of virus in our systems, also called viral load if you're infected, and reduce severity of illness. People with more severe illness are more likely to go on to have long COVID and more debilitating long-term symptoms. This is why by being vaccine protected and receiving prompt treatment are important ways to fight long COVID. Also, vaccines reduce the duration of illness if you're infected, meaning fewer missed days from school or work and fewer days where you might infect somebody else. A vaccinated child is better protected against disruption of COVID-19 illness, including school absence, is less likely to infect a loved one who may be at higher risk group, and is at lower risk for long COVID themselves. That's why in our family, we'll be vaccinating our kids this fall. Another good question is this. For people who have recently been vaccinated with a bivalent booster or recently infected, when should they get this new fall vaccine? This isn't as clearly described by the CDC. And the dilemma is this. We know immunity is strongest soon after infection or vaccine and wanes slowly over months. If you get vaccinated right after infection, it doesn't actually add that much protection. So it makes sense to pace things out. But we don't wanna wait so long that we lose protection. Our recommendation is to wait four months after your last shot or last infection, looking at the data available. This means people who were infected in the last summer surge can wait deeper into fall for the vaccine. If you're at a higher risk group, you shouldn't wait much more than four months though. The fall vaccine will be accessed along the lines of other vaccines through healthcare providers and pharmacies. We're hearing that doses are already moving into communities nationally. So now is a good time to reach out to your doctor or pharmacy to set up a visit for your fall vaccine. To summarize, the fall vaccine is coming and will be here soon. And we all have reasons to get it. For those in our higher risk groups, put it closer to the top of the to-do list because it can lower your risk of hospitalization and death. For others, it's less urgent, but still recommended 
because it can reduce severity and duration of illness, limit the disruption of COVID in you and your family's life, and reduce risk of long COVID. We also expect flu to hit, like it does every year, in November or December. So get your flu shot at the same time from your regular medical provider or at a local pharmacy. Thank you for doing your part.